Thanks, welcome to Custom Diesel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our 6.0 liter AGR Delete Kit. And we're going to uh, show some highlights of, uh, of our product here. And we're also going to talk about why it's important that you change your engine oil cooler whenever you're doing an AGR Delete installation. Uh, the first thing that I want to point out is with our J-Tube assembly. Uh, if you'll notice that ours is a one-piece construction where a lot of our competitors are using a two-piece design. I've seen them in several different configurations, but the main reason that we choose to do a one-piece configuration is it's a lot more durable and you have a, a lot less possibility of a leak. Um, we have a piece of uh, CNC machined bill of aluminum with our aluminum J-tube and it's TIG welded together and each and every one of these J-tubes are pressure checked before they leave our machine shop. So something else that we want to point out is uh, our up pipe. Uh, the, the standard configuration has the T to feed the EGR cooler. Some of our competitors are making uh, just a simple block off plate to, to close that passage all together. And in the stock configuration, which we'll explain in another video, there's actually an accordion tube that's located here at the bottom of the up pipe. And uh, you know, if, if you do do a, uh, a delete kit that just uses the plug, and uh, over time that uh, that Accordion tube will get hot, crack, rupture, and you will start experiencing some exhaust leaks there. So, nice stainless piece, good welds, can't go wrong. Uh, I also have the EGR block off plate, so uh, it's a CNC machine, bill of aluminum also. So, if you want to remove your EGR valve, you simply put that in its place and block it off. Now, with the oil cooler, um, the common problems that you see with these 6 liter EGR coolers is the route that the engine flows through the engine, it first goes through the oil cooler and then the coolant flows to the EGR cooler. Uh, where these engines are uh, so subject to heat with our coolant system that it actually breaks down our engine coolant and uh, you will have some sludge formations that start developing and all that is is where the antifreeze is breaking down and separating. Now, as the coolant flows through this cooler, those uh, sludge particles will become entrapped in the oil cooler. So, as the coolant continues to travel, um, you will start getting a restriction in, in the engine oil cooler. So, a lot of people have had problems with their EGR cooler cracking and leaking, and they'll replace it and not their oil cooler. And six months later, you have another cracked EGR cooler. That's because there's so much restriction in this engine oil cooler that it can't get sufficient flow to the EGR cooler. Uh, in result, it can't keep it at the temperature it needs to due to the excessive heat that's coming through it and not enough coolant. Uh, the EGR cooler itself is just simply a, uh, it's a, it's a heat exchanger. It's using an engine antifreeze to uh, pull some of the heat out of the exhaust before it sends it back into the intake and uh, mixes with the fresh air and going back into the engine. So whether you're replacing your EGR cooler with another cooler or whether you're going to do an EGR delete kit, it's still a good idea to change your engine oil cooler. That way you can get rid of the restriction in the system and uh, keep the coolant flowing as it should. Uh, if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact us at 877-259-4977 or you can check us out on the web at www.custom-diesel.com. As always, all of our products are 100% American made right here in Tennessee, come with free shipping and limited lifetime warranty.